so the day has finally come. A key date in a titanic struggle. A title race for the ages, and it could hardly be better poised. 100 points each, Knox County top, Wrexham second with the game in hand. Two outstanding teams, both chasing one precious prize. Automatic promotion for one, the peril of the playoffs for the other. Driven on by a thirst for success and a fear of failure, the stakes at this level don't get any higher than this. Well, Phil Parkinson have named the same 11 for the last two games, but there were two changes today. Holly Palmer is preferred to Sam Dolby up front. There's also a change to the back three, with Jordan Tunnicliffe missing with a back injury. Tom O'Connor comes in for him, recently back from a stomach injury. This is his first start since the 11th of February. Luke Williams rested several players for Notts County's 3-0 win over Wheelstone. So there are five changes to their 11. The biggest call was who to play in goal, and it's Sam Slocum who gets the nod. The other four coming back in are by Rami, Rawlinson, O'Brien and Ruben Rodriguez. Sam Austin and Jody Jones drop to the bench. Aidan Baldwin is a big miss through injury. Any football fan will tell you it's the hope that kills you. 15 seasons Wrexham have been trying to get back to the EFL. Three seasons in a row, Notts County have missed out in the playoffs. For one of them, the struggle will end soon. Nothing will be decided today, but this could hardly matter more. Arguably, the biggest game, Adam, in National League history. It certainly was. I mean, we were talking about the manager's decisions coming into this game. There have been changes in the back line for both sides. Now Palmer, who's got Mullin in the box with him. Further support arriving, and Mullin with a heavy first touch. And the shot driven in with some power by Andy Cannon. Mandy will get to this, he's got Mullin arriving in the box. Jones is in there too, it's towards Mullin. The referee had a very good view of that, Palmer is leading the protests. I need to see another one of this, Adam, because... Carl Cameron is not looking at the ball when that cross goes in. He's only looking at Mullin. If there's contact here, then I think Paul Mullin will certainly have a case for a penalty. Because I was seeing right behind it. You can just see Cameron in the city. Look, he's not even looking at the ball. He's only looking at Mullin. It's that little push in the chest area. I think that's a penalty. I do not understand the thinking there of Carl Cameron. It's a push. No intention to play the ball, only intention to stop Mullin getting on the end of it. Mendy. Toza. Mullin will chase, but out comes Slocum. Oh, that was a heart in mouth moment, wasn't it, for Notts County? Rex had the ball in that central midfield area. Just that hesitancy to come off his line, just delays it a little bit too long. You know Mullen's going to chase things down, you know Palmer's going to chase things down. It does strike the arm, but I'd say it's in a natural position. That goes up against Mullen. He's on there. You see Carl Cameron at the bottom of your screen. It's a risky line. It really is at the moment. I think Notts County at the moment have just had a, a few let-offs with the linesman. Is the payoff they get further up the pitch worth the risk, I guess, is the question. Again, the offside flag goes up. This again, time against Palmer. It's a, it's a really good point, and that's why you play a high line. I think he's onside again there. I think the linesman in the minutes is on autopilot, just sticking his flag up. And towards Bostock. He's beaten to it by O'Connell. Oh, Mullen will get to this, will he? He did, and then 
Slocum came out and tells Mullen to get to his feet. Again, the referee is unmoved. You have to be on the edge of your box, but then go all the way. Cameron doesn't really deal with it too well. He's nowhere near it. I don't think there's really a lot of contact there on Mullen. Langstaff and Bostock. Chicks and all in the box. Rodriguez worked it here to Cameron. A look to place one. It's a good effort, and it'll be a corner. A good patient build up there. Cameron coming forward. I just wonder if Ben Foster may have just seen this a little bit late. As he takes a deflection. And the main with a good header. O'Brien. Can he get his pass away? He did to Rodriguez. He seemed to be clipped there. And Notts County get the free kick in a great position. The trip by Jones. And a really good chance here for Notts right at the end of the half. Well, they're claiming for a yellow card because they felt Rodriguez was going to go through and take the shot on. But I have to say, his touch on the halfway line was exquisite. I just wonder how much contact Jones gets here. It almost feels like Rodriguez tripped himself up, but the way that Jones came across him. Wearing number six. And will it be the left boot of Bostock? It's Bostock! Oh. It's absolutely brilliant! Sensational strike to give Notts County the lead in the biggest game of the season. His first goal for the club. Wonderful goal. And when you wanted a bit of quality, this is it. Sensational, brilliant. They are shell shot, Wrexham. But the wall doesn't jump, Adam. They have to jump, they jump, this doesn't go in. But take nothing away from this three kick. Absolutely brilliant from Bostock. And this is a huge, huge goal. Foster beaten and Notts County leading added time at the end of the half. What an end to this first half at the race course. He's had a very varied career. I mentioned his last goal was in Ligue 2. And he's got the opener in this contest at the race course that could really add and burst into life in this second half. I'll say it was a wonderful free kick. And say for all the superlatives that we've said about Notts County and Wrexham, it just needed that bit of quality in that first half. And we got it. And we have to really see what Wrexham are made of in this second half. And how did Notts County start this second in terms of the way of keeping possession or do they start quite fast? Mullen chasing, but Slocum acted sweeper keeper, and the flag was up. I don't know what the world record for offside is that they had, but I think Wrexham could be breaking it. We're talking about breaking records. He's onside again. I'm sorry. Too many times these lines are getting these decisions wrong. I'd say there's four or five they've got wrong in this game, and that's not good enough. There's how tight it is at the top. If it remains this way, Notts would have a three-point lead, but Wrexham would still have a game in hand, remember. The referee here speaking to the fourth official, Jonathan Maskery. Scott Tallis is the referee. Phil Parkinson booked here. do get the decision and they look to take the free kick quickly and Mullins in behind and Slocum have come out of his goal and was certainly inside his box when he gathered that I'm hearing from down on the touchline that at half time Parkinson said to the referee you've got at least five decisions wrong so maybe that played a part in him getting that booking as well on top of what he just said to the assistant this is Cannon, again Mullins on the move, Jones. Jones had continued his run, he was right to do so. On Mullins in, and he scored! Right at the start of the second half. There's the Wrexham reaction. Parkinson's side, on terms, and it's their go-to man for goals. 
that's a clinical finish from Paul Mullen. But you're questioning, is there a foul in the build-up to this goal? It's Bairami is the player that's possibly kicked when it goes through. The line again is wrong. It's a great run there from James Jones. But Bairami gets goal side of him and he catches him going through. It's a quality finish from Paul Mullen. That's not an easy finish when that ball comes across you. It's about the connection of the shot, which he hits perfectly. I know Notts County won't be happy because they feel there's a foul on the way through, but Wrexham won't care. What a start to this second half. He wasn't going to miss that. His 44th goal of the season. Bairami has lost it to Jones. This could spell danger. Mullin hits it early. Well, they're waiting to bounce, aren't they, Wrexham? Bairami just dwelling on the ball. Palmer linking up with Mullin. Always going to open up and have a shot towards goal. Says he knows to within a couple of yards where each of his throw-ins will go. Will his teammates be on the same wavelength? Palmer could be the target for this. Plenty of other Wrexham players in there. Slocum with the punch. Elliot Lee. Barnett with the ball in. Oh, what an effort! O'Connell off the bar. Tozer to try again. More speed on that one. The main got a touch on it. Foster, which Langstaff couldn't quite capitalise on. Oh, this is football on the edge, isn't it? We've still got <laughs> half an hour to go here, Adam. Really, Langstaff, but these are the fine margins you look at in a game of football. It's a brilliant ball in there. It's County and their current PPG on course for 109 points, 112 in Wrexham's case. And here's that near miss. Brilliant effort, that by Owen O'Connell. Rawlinson just got the pass away in time. A slip by Rodriguez, dispossessed by O'Connor. And now Palmer will get to this, will he? Bairami did well. Maybe a little bit of frustration that maybe he's not played more this season, but... Oh, great ball for Mullin. Palmer's arriving in the box, and here's Mendy! Cross roll again. They've turned it all around. Mendy arriving at the back post. Wrexham lead 2-1. But well, what a turnaround we have had in this second half. And you have to say fair play to Wrexham. You talk about character, you talk about desire. Great run there from Mullin. He is onside, but he's still got a lot to do there. That is a difficult ball to play across the six-yard box, but Mendy has that desire to get on the end of it. A control finish from him, a quality finish. Brilliant turnaround here from Wrexham. Slow beaten. Not County trail. Marvellous finish from Mendy. He made that look a bit easier than it was because the angle was really starting to work against him. And they enjoyed it. Palmer coming off. And he's worked hard, Oli Palmer. Still looking for that goal, but his work rate and his application has been excellent. Dolby was the player who dropped out of the side for Palmer to come back in. Cannon. He came under pressure from Rodriguez and then he slipped. Austin, Rodriguez, Palmer. Cameron's a long way forwards. And he goes on. Oh, great ball over and Langstaff couldn't quite apply the touch. Brilliant play from Cameron.
It's the first real chance, really, isn't it, for you thinking that Lang Sal's going to get on the ball. It's just one of those ones he needs to fizz across the six-yard box. I do think Foster gets a touch on it to take it away. Nine nine two four. The attendance. Here's Austin. Austin weaving his way through. Austin took a deflection. It'll be a corner. Not County have reacted well here. Well, brilliant play there from Sam Austin. I have to say, it's a brilliant save as well. It's a good reaction save from Ben Foster. Palmer's ball over. Cameron. Not County have levelled it. Captain's goal from Cameron. All square now at the race course. Now it's the Notts County fans who can celebrate. It's a title race for the ages, and this is some game. Well, the way that they have pushed each other this season, there is no surprise that there is another twist in this game. I said it was an important 10 minutes for Wrexham. They'll be disappointed the way that they've defended that goal. But it's a quality header, a quality ball in. I'm going to give up guessing now what's going to happen because what a second half we've had, Adam. Next summer club have not won a promotion in 20 years. That's one was the third tier playoffs. So he's got to his own pass here. Oh, it's come here to Mullen. shooting themselves in the foot. I mean, O'Connell just played his own pass over the top, but by Rami, being too clever, I have no idea what you are doing. Just clear your lines. It's a poor flick from him. And Wrexham have capitalised on it. Just lazy defending. Goes to Mullin. He still has the awareness to put Elliot Neely there. It's a brilliant finish from an emphatic finish, but you work so hard to bring yourself back into the game and you give Wrexham a goal. There is what it means. He's been playing really well of late, hasn't he, Cannon? Yeah, he's been watered. Taking a little bit of time to find his feet in that midfield area. Woking began the day in third of the season. They've had. By Rami, oh, Mullins got away! They can finish it here! Brilliant save! He's kept them in the game there, Slocum. Well, you really thought that was it. Game, set and match. And Mullin is causing. Notts County, an absolute torrid, squares it perfectly, but you have to say, that is magnificent. Great save there from Slocum to keep them in this game. There's no side in the division right now who's been in it longer. And for a side he got 98 points and still didn't go up. All oh, the pressure's paid off and Dolby might be the pass. He might not be needed. Oh, Mullen. This court may be in two minds. They've had chances to finish oh, it. Of course, their own problems as well, Notts County, Adam. Just dwelling on the ball. Not dealing with it quick enough. You have to move the ball quicker when you've got the likes of Mullen chasing you down. Is there to be more drama at the race course? Bostock's ball in. Austin will keep it going. Back it goes to Bostock. Cross to the back post. It's a good knockdown. Kicked in air. 
It's Bostock. Wrexham under pressure. Jones. By Rami. It's now or never. They're appealing there, not counting. He's given it, has he? Oh! A massive call. I think the fans don't realise what's going on. The Notts County fans have only just realised that he's given a penalty. Well... So Connell isn't it? It's the left arm that's out. It's a teasing ball up there. It's the left arm, it is. This will be the best angle for you to see it. It's there. I have to say, I don't think the referee's got many things right, but he's certainly got this one right. By re-spotting the ball. Scott for Notts County. Saved! Saved by Foster! Just a brilliant end to this game. You've seen everything in this game, it's unbelievable. A corner to defend.